There's a certain grace and power about horses and donkeys. They have a sort of stoic indifference to the world that I love. But when does horsing around actually end up being dangerous? Oh. Is the tail going at the same time? They're so adorable. I mean, it's something about the size of the ears compared to the size of the animal. Like, their ears are just so big. This donkey is demonstrating one of the things that makes donkeys unique. It's braying. Uh, the hee-haw. What it's doing is actually making sounds on the exhale and the inhale. So it's going hee-haw, hee-haw, and making sounds both in and out. Whereas a horse, when it wants to neigh, just is on the exhale. <laughs> <laughs> and they use this braying for everything. When they're angry, when they're hungry, when they see a friend, when they're horny, they're all just gonna hee <gasps> I think. Is that the right way? Hee oh, hee oh. Actually, it's the other way. Shit! Aww. Look at it, it's so fluffy. Is that a baby or is that a, like a miniature donkey? <gasps> ay, 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 ay. Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming, here I come, I can hear you. <laughs> They're such personable sort of creatures, aren't they? And it's really funny that donkeys are sort of referred to as being idiots. Because it's really not the case at all. It's not like they're Einstein or anything, but they're actually pretty smart and they form really strong social bonds. So they will form a pair bond with an individual like their special friend, and sometimes those pair bonds can go into species. So sometimes the pair bond can be between a donkey and a human, and it means that when they're separated from each other, the donkey will use all of its powers, intellectual and otherwise, to get back to its friend. And it's going to do things like climb over walls and go through brambles. I, 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 I. Look, I said they were smart, but, you know, everyone has their moments. I, I, I. No, you're so pretty. Whoa! I mean, to be fair, that gave me a little fright as well. Get it, Joy. Get it, Joy. No, don't get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Y'all are going to get your ass now. Woo! <laughs> Went through the fence at the end. Quite dangerous. That snapping turtle tried to give that horse what for. <laughs> Horses are really curious animals, but they also are prey to other animals. And that means they've got a really highly developed flight or fight response when they get a fright. <laughs> One of the weapons that horses have is their kick, which is incredibly fast and incredibly strong. A horse's kick goes as quick as 320 kilometres an hour. In fact, there was a case of a man who got kicked in the chest by a horse and he actually went into cardiac arrest because of it. Horses will break your heart. Oh, look at this picturesque mountain scene with um, wild horses. Are they wild? They're not wild. Uh-oh, nope, nope, nope. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a classic case of the human not knowing how to interpret horse communication. The horse gave clear signs to that human to not approach. As soon as he started to come towards it with his hand out, the horse raised its head up and it put its ears back and this really aggressive tail flip that really, really obviously tells you that they're angry and he didn't listen. So he got bitten. That's what happens when you approach animals. I mean, horses can bite strong enough to break bones if they want to, and you need to give it some personal space. I don't know what they'll put in water on it for. <laughs> oh, and it's got a cat in it. It's like my favorite. Oh, hey, oi. That's the core strength on that cat, though. 
Horses explore a lot with their lips. They're actually really sensitive and gorgeously velvety if you ever get close to them. They've actually got really coarse little whiskers and they function like a cat's whiskers. They receive sensory information and send it straight up to the brain. And one of the reasons why they actually need to have this sensory apparatus at the end of their muzzle is because the way their eyes are placed means that they really can't see what's directly in front of them on the ground. I'm not sure that the horse was actually being mean there. I think it was just exploring. But then sometimes horses just can be assholes. Horses and donkeys, with all their wonderful shapes and sizes and capabilities, have coexisted with humans for thousands of years. And with all of that charm and just a little bit of a nibble, I think that we want them around us for thousands of years to come.